Hi, this is William here, <clears throat> and today we're going to talk more about inbound links. And PageGrade is a HubSpot software tool, and it comes with a dashboard that lists key search engine metrics by page and makes it easy to prioritize which pages to optimize first. So you can see the page grader and the, the header at the top, but more importantly, in the bottom is the status and the page title, the keyword, the number of visits, and the inbound links and the page grade. So these are important metrics that you need to take a look at. You can get them for all the keyword tags. The next is going to be the page rank. And that's also included in the dashboard. These had to be split because of the, of the presentation. But here's the rankings and then again you're, you're presented with the keyword and the rank and the monthly searches and the difficulty for those keywords. So using these tools can help a great deal to prioritize what you need to accomplish with your link building. So the spectrum of link building. Before looking at some particular link building tactics, it's worth considering how creating each link can require a different mix of input from the link builder and from the editor of the linking site. Different link building tactics require a different mix of manual input on the part of the link builder and editorial decisions on part of the site from which the link is gained. Link building tactics can be divided into those that are listed as follows. Completely manual, which is a combination of manual input and editorial decisions, or completely editorial. Manual link building at the top of the spectrum are tactics that require input from no one but the link builder. These can include leaving links in the comments section of other sites, adding links to social networking profiles, or submitting the site to online directories that accept every submission. Clearly, these can be easy ways to attain to increase the number of links to a site. Since these are links are so easy to attain, they offer little to no value. A mixture of manual and editorial input. This is the center of the spectrum and is where a lot of link building time and effort can and typically is get spent. In many cases, it involves building relationships with sites and individuals who may link to you or contacting the site editors to tell them about a particular content your site has and encourage them to link to it. Completely editorial is the bottom of the spectrum and covers where a link was given unprompted. When a site has particularly high quality content or provides useful or unique resources on a particular topic, people are more likely to link to it without needing to be asked or invited. And this brings us to link building techniques. Now that you know why link building is important and understand its different types, let's look at some specific tactics that have been proven successful. This by no means is an exhaustive list of techniques that are used, but it should help you get started on building links to your site and hopefully inspire you to think of ways that your site can continue to attract links in the future. The biggest thing is to build quality content. The purest and most fundamental form of link building is simply create a compelling reason for people to talk about your website and then let them share it with others by linking to it. Think about your niche and identify some sites in which you'd like to attract links. And you create content that would be relevant to the audience as well as yours. You can openly state that others should feel free to share your content as long as they link back to your site. In summary, the next presentation is to discuss some examples of quality and other methods to increase inbound links. And that concludes the presentation on more about inbound links part 2 video. And this is William. I'll see you the next time.